<laughs> I guess I might as well wear some of my clothes now uh, that I'm probably gonna have to sell them because I'm going broke. But today we're gonna talk about how much money I make from YouTube and what that means is specifically ad revenue through Google AdSense and that's basically determined by how many views you're getting. It could also include you know, donations from live streams. I do wanna say I'm very thankful that I've been able to use YouTube as a platform to start some of my businesses, whether it's the Frankie's Natural Products, Frankie's Strange Meat, organ supplements, you know, the private consultations I do for fitness and nutrition. In regards to that, YouTube has been great that I've been able to make some money, at least enough money, uh, to not have to worry about you know, putting food on the table or having a car to drive. Uh, that being said, uh, uh, I was actually looking forward to YouTube being a much higher source of revenue. You know, back in uh, early 2019, things were looking much better. But uh, let's go back to the beginning. And I've been making YouTube videos since summer of 2016, mostly pertaining to nutrition, fitness, and health. And more recently, I've touched on current news. And I, I've been kind of all over the place. And I mean, me telling the truth about certain things talking about certain topics you know and that's part of the reason that I'm not being compensated as much as I could be if I played by the rules did XYZ but I don't want to go into that uh, one thing that you have to absolutely understand if you're considering YouTube if you're doing any business is the marketing perspective how many people are going to be interested in what I'm providing and for me fitness, health, nutrition, diet. You know, the stuff I talk about is basically something that's present or relevant to everyone's life. You know, so there's no excuse for people to not watch my videos essentially. And that's also the way I go about creating a lot of my video topics and determining what I would like to talk about. You know, I'm not only trying to appease the crowd from an entertainment perspective, I'm also trying to figure out, you know, what would help the most people in regards to health. You know, what about variety? You know, you don't want to do the same standing against the static background every day that type of simple stuff that being said you know for the first two years of my youtube channel before i was monetized where i was you know just doing youtube for getting out there still working a regular job i only spent maybe you know 45 minutes to an hour every day physically working on the youtube video you know i just set up the camera talk in front of it film didn't write a script. I didn't spend a lot of time recording. I didn't spend a lot of time editing. Had no real knowledge about cameras. My production quality, the audio, wasn't that great. And even really just now, uh, I'm getting to the point where, you know, that aspect of my videos is, is pretty good. You know, it doesn't really have to be better. You know, as long as the audio and video quality isn't greatly compromised by poor camera angles or you know really really bad background noise you're basically good to go you know you want to keep it simple and those people that do heavily heavily edited YouTube videos with all these sorts of transitions and effects and really smooth stuff that's you know professional production quality not necessary for YouTube so that period of two years where I wasn't monetized even though I wasn't investing an incredible amount of time you know I was still thinking about video topics, you know, all, nutrition always going through my mind. So it really is a lifestyle. A lot of my thoughts and my off time was invested in what I was going to talk about the next day. And when I did get monetized, uh, you know, I progressively started putting more and more effort into my YouTube videos. Uh, I might not have written the script, but I put more money into the camera, more money into the audio quality. I spent more time editing the video and now it's gotten to the point where i'm writing scripts for nearly every single video i'm spending half an hour an hour editing every video so i went from spending no more than an hour per day now i'm at like three four five hours a day of my physical time is invested in making a youtube video every day sometimes it's more sometimes it's less on average i would have to say between two and three hours and what that entails is writing the script filming the video editing the video and uploading the video just to have that video physically on YouTube every day that's the amount of time it takes you know some days like today I might not have to write a script and it's an unusual video where it takes me only an hour overall sometimes 
like for those cooking videos, I have to film for five or six hours straight and then edit for an hour. Sometimes it's simple, one hour of writing a script, one hour of filming, one hour of editing. Could be a vlog, could be all these different sorts of things, but that's a pretty good estimation of the average time commitment, two to three hours. So with that two to three hours and day in mind, now we can look at the monthly compensation and how it correlates to the effort I'm putting in. So my best months that I can remember off the top of my head were when I was getting like 15 to 20,000 views per day on my videos uh, from like January through March 2019. Those paychecks from Google AdSense were like between $5,000 and $6,000 per month, which for me, uh, you know, for the amount of money I've made throughout my life was great. You know, five, six thousand a month. I didn't really have the businesses at the time. I wasn't doing that great. And, you know, that would still be a lot of money for me now. Uh, but if you take, you know, six thousand dollars, that's fifteen hundred a week. And, you know, if you're working, you know, three hours a day for a month, 90 hours, it's pretty good. You're getting paid over a hundred bucks an hour. Now, you know, that five, six thousand dollars was very short lived uh, and that didn't include my live stream revenue when I was live streaming at that time. It might have actually even been a few hundred dollars extra in donations every week from the live streams. Uh, since 2019, uh, they kind of put like a hamper on my views. I don't know what's going on, but you know, my view count has been steadily going down. Uh, my live stream count has gone down to the point where I didn't even <laughs> care about live streaming last Saturday. I just did some extra videos and uh, we might live stream later tonight. I don't know, but now donation live streams are basically gone and my Google AdSense paychecks for July. I actually wasn't going to check um, this before I filmed this video. I was just going to guesstimate because I knew I was getting checks for like $1,300, $1,400, $1,500 dollars a month now. So basically making, you know, 50 bucks per YouTube video, which is basically $15 an hour. So, I mean, I can't complain. I have a job. I get paid, you know, 15, 20 bucks an hour for a few hours of work a day, which isn't bad. Uh, but I saw some paychecks from June and July and I was getting eight or 900 bucks, uh, which was, uh, I honestly probably, uh, I, it's for me, it's tough because I've made YouTube videos every day for years and years. And I just feel like uh, I'm giving up if I stop now, but it, it is very, very discouraging when, you know, you work harder and harder and harder, you invest more time and money and, and things just seem to be getting worse and worse. So going from you know, 15, 20,000 views per day and having active live streams that had, you know, three to 400 viewers, five, 6,000 a month. Now, you know, when I'm getting four or 5,000 views a day and I have a hundred active viewers on my live streams on another channel, the revenue is drastically, drastically lower. I mean, I wouldn't say it's a sacrifice I've made. Uh, you know, I chose to talk about certain topics and there's people in power that don't want other people to know about those topics as it compromises what other people are saying. Those other people might be making a video every day that's getting 100,000 views and they're basically making, you know, 30, 40, 50 times the amount of ad revenue I am. And dude, if I was making that much money per month on YouTube, holy crap, you know, that is, you know, hundreds and hundreds, millions of dollars per year in ad revenue, that is, that is absolutely insane to me. And uh, some people make three or four videos a week. They get a million views per video. It, it's a crazy, crazy, crazy amount of ad revenue. And, you know, we could bring up like a, a vegan girl who told me, for instance, that does get 100, 200,000 views per video. She'll make a video once or twice a week. She'll have a sponsorship. That sponsor is probably paying her 20, 30,000 just for a video. That's another thing we have to talk about. Um, I've never really been offered big sponsorships, I think. People have offered me like 500 bucks to say um, something about their product. But you know, when you have those higher view counts, when you can get those sponsorships, that's why just about every larger YouTube channel is sponsored because all they got to do is throw you know, a minute or two of them talking about some nonsense product and they get a check in their bank account for $50,000. It's a lot of money. I'm just hoping that I can get my businesses together to some degree and start getting in some revenue uh, before this whole YouTube thing goes completely down the toilet. I've had over 100,000 subscribers for like uh, quite a few months now. I wonder when they're supposed to send me that uh, 
silver plaque so that I can cook a steak on it and then maybe uh, beat it with a baseball bat. But outside of that, thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, if you do want to support me, please just share the video on social media, like, leave me a comment down below. If you do want to support me further, you can check out frank We've got a couple exciting things coming uh, this week and next week, guys. So hopefully towards the end of this week, I can announce some stuff. Uh, outside of that, um, you know, some of you guys might not watch my video today or tomorrow. If that's the case, happy Thanksgiving. Otherwise, uh, we'll come up with some stuff to talk about.